Hi there, Aquarius Pisces. Welcome to your Mayday Pro reading. So today we're talking about love. We're taking a look at a connection that you may be dealing with right now or you could be dealing with, with in the future. So keep in mind that the rules could be reversed. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. All the information you need to know is in the little white rectangle over there. So definitely take a look at that. And um, I'm so, so grateful. I really want to tell you that. I feel like I don't say that enough. I'm so grateful for having you here for all your support and the donations for anyone who has been donating. So, yeah, just thank you for being here. I'm really grateful for what I do and having you by my side is awesome, okay? So, let's get into your reading. So, I was seeing a butterfly and then I was also seeing a bench. And what that tells me is that you're going through deep transformation. Possibly this, this connection is going through deep transformation, but I feel like it's specifically you. And there's this thing of like, enjoy what you're going through enjoy the transformation that you're going through take a little step back and really enjoy um the ride okay because it's it's almost i feel like you could be at this really life-changing like turning point in your life and embrace it enjoy it take advantage of it okay taste it all right so we have listen to your inner child you also have journaling and everything's gonna be okay so there's, I feel like you could be healing some things from your childhood. I do have a, a pick a card around your inner child if you're interested, but um, I definitely feel like you're going through deep transformation in childish, ch uh, childish, uh, in childhood wounds. And just know that you are on the right path, and that everything that you're doing is enough, and everything that you're going through is quite enough, and it's quite amazing, and it's leading you to the right path. Okay. It's leading you to a beautiful connection here. All right, so let's see how this um, shows up in love, okay? Let's see. For Aquarius Pisces, we have getting to know each other right here. So this could be someone new. Let your friends help you stay optimistic about your love life and uh, very soon. So yeah, well, right behind the getting to know each other is new love. So I definitely feel like you could be meeting someone through friends. Okay, so stay optimistic because that could actually be happening quite soon. And really focus on doing what is best for you. Okay, really focus on being there for yourself, being on that bench. And let that butterfly come to you. Okay, let that butterfly transform you that I feel like it's this person. Actually, that could actually be um, a literal sign. If you start seeing a lot of butterflies, it means that that new love is coming in. Okay, and um, let's do you. Um, and I definitely feel like this person is bringing a lot of transformation for you, more than what you have already been through, but it's almost like it's going to be the, um, the last healing point, you know, it's going to be like the reward, the finishing line, this new love, and I kind of feel like this could go very far, actually. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has here for you. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So for Aquarius Pisces, what do we have? So the overall energy here, we have the Five of Pentacles. So you could have been... Uh, I kind of feel like for most of you, you went through a breakup not too long ago. Or at least a, a childhood breakup is still haunting you a little bit. But the good thing with the Fool is that you're taking a leap of faith and you're walking away. Yeah. Walking away from all those fears and you're creating a new story for yourself. So that's pretty amazing. So cool. So for you, we have the devil. For your person, queen of swords, temperance. Wow, this is so beautiful. So we have the devil and the temperance. You're healing from that toxicity that was around you. You're healing and world, putting a big ass end to whatever is happening in your life and whatever happened here. And you're really finding the balance between your energies and you're really finding the balance in your life and in your heart and learning how to listen to your heart because I feel like that could have been difficult for you. And that's when this new person comes in. We have the Queen of Swords, very assertive person. They may seem a little bit cold in the beginning, but they're actually a very fun person to be around. Kind of feel like they are a little bit shy. Um... And once they open up, it's like things just poof, skyrocket and they, there's a spark here. It's really, really good. I really like the vibe because it's very mature and it's very like 
uh, boundary defined from this person. They have that very like set in stone, but at the same time, they allow people in and they allow themselves to get to know new people and to fall in love and everything. I feel like it's a very mature person. Could eventually be uh, an air sign. We also have fire here, but we'll pull some specifics as we get into the reading. Um, and right now with that world, there's definitely that big cycle ending and this person is like the end of the, of the, of the circle, okay? And the potential outcome, king of wands, there's you feeling powerful and feeling empowered to do whatever you want with your life. There's you feeling like you can have anything in the world because you deserve it. And I also feel like this connection, number one, the sex may actually be really great. And number two, I feel like it's really, uh, you empower each other and you support each other. And there's a lot of physical attraction towards one another. So that's, that's pretty cool. You could have some abandonment issues and that could be what you're healing here. That could definitely be it. But let's see that devil. Yeah, four of swords. There you go, healing. Uh, we have the seven of wands, two of pentacles and that four of swords. So I kind of feel like this is um, something that maybe comes from your family. Okay, maybe your relationship with your parents and then it portrayed, it reflected on love relationships. And I definitely feel like it's something around like stability and either like giving too much or being too cold and hesitating a lot on your feelings. And that's what? That's your energy is not balanced because that's sometimes the Pisces was really there and really compassionate and would give the world to that person. And sometimes the Aquarius with the air energy could be a little bit cold and people would walk away. And so I feel like you always had a little bit of a struggle. And I feel like it was because probably your parents couldn't give you that or their relationship was a little bit like that. And you thought that that was the normal relationship and I feel like now you're learning that it's not and you're taking care of it you're healing it and that that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome dude and I feel like you're also learning how to put boundaries okay so let's try and get some more information around this person let's see that page of pentacles there So we have here the Six of Cups. This could actually be someone from your childhood. You could be going back home. This, I feel like it's a very specific message. But for someone out there, you could be going back home and you actually uh, like randomly uh, bump into this person. You could have been like very, and that, that probably is why this Let Your Friends Help You is here. This could be like a childhood friend. You never really had a thing, but it could be like a childhood friend. And uh, things start to develop from there. But we have the Six of Cups, Three of Cups, Queen of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, and Nine of Swords. So there's that thing of like, um, I feel like, the, I mean, we all have fears that we need to face. But I feel like this person is not afraid of facing the fear. You know, and I feel like they have a really good realization of who they are and how to move forward. And I feel like they are actually, they may actually teach you how to stand up for yourself, how to uh, affirm yourself, how to create boundaries. That's why this person is your last part of the healing. It's because I feel like they are teaching you something really important and they're definitely part of your path here. Definitely. And I feel like they are a very caring person. So there's that thing of like, maybe looking a little bit cold. They, they rule their life a lot with the divine feminine. You see all these queens. Um, and it's that thing, I feel like they see, they may seem a little bit cold and shy, but actually they're really caring and loving and compassionate. And I feel like they are amazing friends. I do believe that you, for a very long time, actually, you may start as friends and then things start to move forward and start to develop. Okay. I'm hearing doctor. Particularly vet, so this person may actually be a vet or a doctor. Um, let's see, uh, but I mean, you could also just signify that this person is your sort of spiritual doctor, especially with this high priestess, um, and it's here to help you heal, okay? Let's see that king of wands and the potential. <clears throat> All right, so 
so we have the ace of swords yeah you being able to stand up for yourself and to tell your truth with no hesitation we have the seven of cups ten of pentacles chariot and tower it's like whatever you want you get it the ten of pentacles commit a relationship you can have it you are not afraid to move forward with your heart Chariot this cancer energy. You're not afraid to move forward with the Pisces energy, which is the equivalent here uh, with the water. And you're not afraid to make decisions. It's like, I feel like in the past, you could have been really afraid of making decisions because maybe your parents wouldn't love it and be, maybe other people wouldn't support it. And I feel like you are done with that and you're really, really taking care of yourself and taking control of your life. And in this connection, the Ten of Pentacles, this could go into a very uh, committed relationship, very solid one. So that's really good too. Let's pull here some advice for you. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> well we have the crane with surrender. Let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expensive in your thoughts as your soul is. Let's see. What do we have here? What is the advice? All right, so we have the sloth with digital detox, recalibrate, reset, and recharge. There's that healing that still needs to happen. Really take care of yourself. We also have the monkey. Don't take your life too seriously. And we have the grounding with ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. So there's a need of really grounding yourself and putting boundaries but also being able to go with the flow and follow your heart and not taking your life so seriously. Really having fun and enjoying how this person joins in. Um, but there is that big thing of letting go of limiting beliefs, letting go of that hurt and really grounding yourself, having those boundaries. Really finding the flow between your two energies. I feel like you're already doing that though, okay? But... Yeah, Aquarius Spices, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated. I hope it helped. Uh, if it did, don't forget to smash the like button for me to subscribe if you haven't already. And Preverdings, the link is down below if you're interested. And I will see you in the next one. Alrighty, bye. -bye.